guys, I'm Ken with Rhino Off-Road. And I'm Mike, Fly Fisher 530. And we are up at Cavanaugh Ridge at 11,000 feet. It's just about dinner time, and I thought this would be a phenomenal uh, time for us to discuss the differences, the pros and the cons, etc., of the iCamper Disco cook system versus Gumbo Tusk, Scotto. So the iCamper Disco, I just got uh, a couple days ago. It retails for $500. Uh, it comes with four pieces, essentially, the lid, the burner, the tripod, and the uh, cutting table. So Tembo Tusk, last I checked, was around $375. It comes with this bag for the, for the legs, plus uh, the scottle itself. Um, and you can get other add-ons as well, as I'm sure you can as well. As far as the material of the bag goes, um, they're actually, there's pretty stark contrast here. The eye campers, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's probably nylon, I'd say. Um, comes with a protective bag. Actually, this is $50 extra, uh, but it does come with a, a really thin bag to go around the actual cook plate. The Tembo Tusk here uh, has a much more robust and thicker fabric. Almost feels like a, like a thick canvas material. Yeah, like a thick vinyl or canvas. It's, it's, it's very tough looking. Yeah, 100%, and I, I definitely will throw it over to them. I think this bag is gonna last way longer than any of these do. Okay, so our plan today is we're gonna take these out of the bag for you. Uh, we're going to assemble them right in front of you so you can see what the different assembly process looks like. And then we're both gonna cook up some carne asada, uh, make some good tacos, and show you guys what it's like to cook on each. Okay, so this is a Timbo Tusk Scottle. It has a steel uh, plate that you cook your food on. It needs to be seasoned. So when you're done cooking, you basically heat up some water inside the scottle, um, move it around to basically um, cleanse and disinfect the, the, the plate itself. When you're done, you basically wipe it with a little bit of oil and you're done. And you have a nicely seasoned uh, uh, metal plate for cooking on. Nice thing about both of these plates, I guess you call them, is that you can cook your food in the middle here and keep it warm off to the side as well. It's one of the really cool features about these things. So underneath the Scotto are three uh, steel legs. Um, and so they're adjustable. Um, they have uh, points where they will click in um, if you had a perfectly level surface, but if not, you can click them out of those holes and then adjust and make it level uh, however you need to. The burner unit itself is right here, uh, attaches underneath and you basically screw in your bottle of propane at this location here. Uh, the plate itself uh, is a, it's not exactly Teflon, it's a fancy name for it, but effectively has a nice non-skid material on it. Uh, it can be easily removed as well. Uh, the burners are the other really cool part about this. So when you pull this off, it actually has legs uh, on the bottom of it, which allows us to be a standalone burner. And then as you saw in the setup, all you have to do is quickly just set that in there. Uh, it uses propane or uh, the little uh, canisters. I have a little adapter here to use with my propane tank. So the legs are, are aluminum. Uh, they have really nice adjustment features on all three legs. So you can fully extend them. And then uh, similar to the Tembo Tusk, just turn a quick uh, little uh, screw in order to extend or retract the legs as you need to have a nice level cooking surface, which is really important, especially when you're cooking with oil and butter and that kind of thing, because Gravity is going to win, and it will uh, slide to whatever part of the uh, the skillet, if you will, uh, that it is angling towards. Another feature that I really like about the Disco is it comes with a bamboo cutting board. The cutting board actually mounts uh, and locks into two of the legs, 
um, of the tripod so you can put it on any side that you want. Uh, it provides really a nice surface uh, to store utensils and that kind of thing while you're cooking. And then it has a paper towel rack as well. If we move down underneath the burner, it also has a pulley down here, which allows you to connect chains uh, and basically turn the uh, skillet part of the iCamper Disco uh, into a overfire uh, old cast iron cooking method, which is really cool. All right, well, I think that's enough talking about it. What do you say we put some meat on the grill? I agree. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. comes with uh, the iCamper Disco and it's actually super convenient, it won't scratch it. Uh, it's a good way to kind of get that tough uh, built on grease. Because it has a Teflon coating, I also use something like 7th generation, which is a totally biodegradable uh, spray to help kind of clean the, uh, the surface off. All right, Mike, talk us through, now that we're all done, how you clean and season yours. Yeah, so um, first part is just get all the, uh, the loose stuff off first, you know, scrape it off, and then uh, the next thing will be to pour some water on, get it boiling with the burner on, and then move that water around to kind of sanitize the whole plate and then uh, wipe that off. I do that a couple of times and then uh, the final thing is while the, the, the plate's still hot or at least warm, uh, put some oil on and re-season it with the wiping around the oil. Both the carne asada on the Disco and the Tembo Tuscato turned out phenomenally well. So can confirm you're gonna get good taco meat no matter which one you're cooking on. We thought we'd just kind of finish this off with highlighting maybe a few differences between the two and help aid your decision uh, in which of these you should go with if you're looking for a Scottle style uh, grill for your overland setup. So starting with the cooktop on the iCamper Disco. Uh, one of the features that I really like um, are these handles so that you can just lift the entire cook surface off of it um, and walk it over to wherever you're gonna be serving. Uh, once you're done, you can obviously just set it right back on the grill uh, and then it is ready for cleanup. Additionally, uh, with the Teflon coated surface, it doesn't need to be seasoned or uh, re-oiled so you can clean it with just uh, either boiling some water or wiping it down with some biodegradable soap. Yeah, and so for the, the Tembo Tuscato, um, it does need to be seasoned, but I feel like that gives the food a little bit better flavor. Um, and then the larger size, um, you know, allows you to push more material, more like tortillas or whatever off to the side, keep those warm while you're cooking in the middle. So it's a bit larger than the Disco. Um, they're both easy to set up. Um, they both have a lot of nice features. This has steel legs that are adjustable. These, this has aluminum legs that are adjustable. Um, it's just a matter of preference uh, on price and features that you want based on price. Absolutely. So I think for about a $125 difference, what you're really paying for uh, is the cutting board that comes with it, uh, the Teflon coated surface. Additionally, uh, you can pull this burner off and use it standalone if you need to. 
And then the last feature, which I really didn't anchor on, is the fact that, again, you can cook over a fire. If price is the sticking point, uh, the Tembo Tusk Scottle is going to serve every need uh, that you have. Uh, you're going to have plenty of room in order to cook on. Uh, but you might be missing out on some of these extra features that may be important to you. If you're willing to spend a little more money, uh, the iCamper Disco does come with a few additional features. But again, we can't make the decision for you. It really just comes down to uh, what are you looking for in a cook system. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. Uh, rarely do we get uh, to compare these side by side. And when I was looking online, trying to figure out which one I wanted to purchase, I really couldn't find a video showing both next to each other cooking at the same time. Uh, I'm Kevin with Rhino Off Road. And I'm Mike, Fly Fisher 530. Thanks for tuning in. Please uh, like this video if you did. Subscribe to both of our channels to watch uh, future content, gear reviews, and overland trip videos. And we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see ya.